How y'all doing? <laughs> things that you're focusing in on for this first preseason game? Uh, probably what this feeling of the stadium would be like. That was my first time ever playing or being inside that stadium. So for me, it was a, a different feeling. And just seeing the, uh, the energy that it comes with here, you know, uh, and it's surreal. You know, you got to really be here to understand it. And so, and that's just a preseason game. I can't imagine when it's playoffs on the line and season and just NFC championships. So for me, it's going into the stadium not knowing what I'm going into was probably what I was thinking about. Feel different than a normal preseason game for you? It did, because it was, it was a lot of people there. For a preseason game, it was a lot of people there. Uh, and they were, and actually they were there four quarters. Like most people, you know, have time, people start leaving. Uh, they were there four quarters, celebrating, cheering. Uh, and when you're a player on the field, that's a that's a big factor. When third down and four, and you just got fans going for you, uh, just giving you energy to make a play. How did you get so wide open on the touchdown? Uh, God, <laughs> no, nah, uh, no, um, opportunity, me preparation, man. I mean, at practice, we would stand after practice. Me, Trey, Nate, uh, Debo, all the receivers practicing that particular route, you know, and uh, just where to hit it, timing, uh, our depth, getting our depth, and just uh, being where we need to be at. And in the game, it kind of was like, why is it so hard at practice and it's easier here feeling? But I just caught his blind spot and took it back to the middle of the field, which we've been practicing with, uh, with Hank, Coach Hank, our receivers coach, been he been on my butt about getting to a blind spot and going cross face. So we was on the sideline laughing about it. So it's a lot more difficult against your own defense. Yeah. They they be, they know our playbook. They be taking our plays the day before and going over them and then come back the next day running them for us. So and, uh, <laughs> it looked like you turned him around and then made him fall down. It has to be that kind of an ultimate thing as a wide receiver to do that to a corner, almost like posterizing him. Um, I mean, is that pretty sweet when you know? I don't know if in the moment you know what happened, but I didn't. I, I just ran. I, I remember getting to his blind spot and running, and I just drove out, seen the ball in the air, slowed down a little bit. Uh, I came to the side, and they said, you seen what he fell? And I was like, no, nah, I didn't. And on, on the, uh, the iPad, you can kind of see a picture of it, but you don't show the video. But uh, I was just doing my job, getting where I need to be at. So, I haven't even checked my phone yet. I was getting treatment, so yeah, I'm about to go probably look at it. My little brother probably texted to me, so yeah. Just speaking offense last year that um, did some good things, but a lot of times it would be, it would take 15, maybe even 20 plays to get in the end zone. It has the, does it have a look now? I mean, with, with you here and with the way that Danny's play went today, that this that this is an offense that can also strike quickly now? You think you see a lot of big plays in the future here? Yeah, I think we got an explosive room from all cylinders of running back, tight ends, uh, quarterback, uh, everywhere. I think we get a very explosive room. And uh, even that practice, we harp on that. We we, uh, we take notes on explosive plays a day. Uh, and that's just, it's good to put drives together like that. But it's a, it's a, it's a, like a one, when you take a top off on, they kick off, they, they might get a momentum swing, and then you just take a top off and change the whole momentum swing. Them, them plays sometimes need it too. And that's just like one of them, them daggers, like just in your stomach type of thing, feeling so. Uh, and you need it in your offense as well. But nothing wrong with them long drives. That, that just show the offensive details and just the knowledge that you, the details you put, the knowledge you put into your offense. What was your vantage point of the, uh trade to, to Danny play, what did you see there? I was on the field. I just remember seeing him like five yards ahead of the dude, and then I chased him down. And when he caught, I kind of put my hands up, touchdown. I knew he wasn't going to catch him. I was just watching Danny run every day. So I knew he wasn't going to catch him. But Based on the coverage that that ball was going to Danny? I honestly didn't. I thought I honestly thought it was going to come to me on the backside, if, uh, depending on whether the safety bit the, uh, the through route that we had. Or, or me, either or. But then I seen that Danny had one on one. Dude was off, and Danny could run. Go give it to him. 
So. Kind of get thrown to the other side to you. Mostly prop. Yeah. Yeah. We run the field during the. Trey actually had a run at the middle. He said he slid for the first time in his life, basically. Never done it before. And did you agree with the guys? You want to get down, get down? Nah, we don't need to yell that. He he should know that. It's to, it's, it's we we trying to get a Super Bowl, so we need you. Barry, I know you talked about fumbles in the past. I'm sure you didn't love losing the ball. Uh, is that frustrating? Nah, it's not. I mean, obviously you don't want to put the ball on the ground, but uh, Coach Kyle and uh, Hank been on me about attacking the ball and getting a feel like, right now. And uh, when I called it, I just thought about running through him. And uh, I honestly had it when I was turned around. I was getting ready to lay down and get back up because it was a two minute, and I didn't feel uh, the backside come from behind and kind of even tap me a little bit. And that's how the ball went to rolling. Uh, but that's something you go to draw on board and just how can I attack that ball the same way but protect it, get back up and keep moving. Uh, but that's what, that was another when you asked about focus. That's been a focus for me running through the ball when I catch it, uh, and that was something I was been practicing for a while, so. Anything else, Ray Ray? Okay. God bless y'all. What did you uh, go into tonight trying to accomplish? Uh, just trying to get better, same thing. Uh, you know, kind of the training camp mindset, uh, be efficient, move the ball, take care of the ball, uh, man, give those guys a chance. Offensive line did a great job. Uh, young guys did a great job, and man, it's, it's a lot more fun to win. Walk us through the touchdown. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Throw it to the fast guy. Uh, Danny did a great job. I um, mean, he's done a great job all camp. Just him being healthy, uh, obviously, he's a difference maker for us on offense. His speed is, is something that, man, I've had maybe one other time in my life. Uh, so f for me, uh, it's, it's a fun guy to have, fun guy to, for the receiver room to have also. Um, he just helped the route tree out, um, you know, make defenses defend the ball on the whole field. You used to do that free snap. Was that when you read from the beginning? I mean, one high, just trying to hold the safety. Um, and he didn't get really any depth at all. So for me, it was kind of, uh, you know, routes on airplay when, when Danny runs that fast. Who was your other fast wide receiver? Christian Watson. He was on the sideline, yeah, actually actually today. But no disrespect, we got some. We got a lot of fast guys this year. I mean, we got Marcus Johnson, Malik, uh, B.A., and Ray Ray also. Jawan, going to get mad at me if I don't say Jawan and Debo also. So we got fast guys this year. So, I mean, it's a lot of fun uh, to play with those guys. And obviously, it's fun to, to see what they do with the ball. Man, pretty fast chasing them to, in the end zone there. Did, and the big smile at the sideline. Was it anybody in particular you were looking at as you were running down? I was just fired up for Danny. I was trying to catch him, make sure he didn't punt the ball into the crowd or anything like that. I want to make sure he got that, that first touchdown ball. Uh, I know someone did it for me. George did it for me last year. So uh, I know it's a special one to have. Does it take for you to kind of gauge the speed of a wide receiver to know where to put it? I don't know if there's a, you know a set amount of time. I think it's just reps and, and trust. Um, and Danny's done a great job, like I said, all camp uh, of earning that from from all the quarterbacks. Um, man, he's he's a playmaker. And it's fun to throw to. One of the guys did he did you work out with him during that time away? No, I actually didn't. Um, but he was healthy for phase one and two of OTAs, um, and then had a, something going on, so wasn't able to practice for phase three. So training camp was the first time I got live reps with him. Um, but man, he's he's done a great job in the meeting rooms. Great job, you know, learning from the guys ahead of him. Also, was it fun to get to actually play against another team? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been looking forward to it obviously for a long time. Uh, but you know, in training camp, we try to take it one day at a time against our defense. Um, you know, there's good days and bad days, but uh, you know, they make us better, and I think that showed today. How did you think you did overall? You had two series, but there were other throws. You had to run. Did you did you think yeah. you performed? I'm excited to watch it. Um, I got down. That was my first time sliding in my whole entire life. Um, so that was that was good. I'm sure guys were happy. I would like to probably move the chains, um, maybe one, one more step. But uh, I mean, I'm excited to go back and watch the tape tonight um, and, and tomorrow and go through it, you know, with our coaches and our offense. Uh, but man, learned a lot, some good reps out there and super proud of just the young guys, especially. Have you practiced sliding? No, nah, I've thought about practicing it, though. You know, kind of picturing it in my head. I was sitting in my hotel room actually this morning, kind of like I was telling guys about it. But you, you can watch all my games, never. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can hear the whole entire sideline yelling at me, you know, get down. Um, and obviously, that's, you know, I'm in a little bit different position now. Um, just trying to take care of myself. I know that it, me being available and me not being available is, you know, puts our team at a deficit. Coming into this game, I know it's a preseason game, but now you're the starter. Yeah. You know?
I would say the same thing um, that I said coming into training camp, coming into OTAs this year. Uh, felt very different. Uh, game slowed down for sure. I know it's you know obviously a preseason game, uh, but some good, some bad. Excited to learn from it. Excited to go to Minnesota. Absolutely. Absolutely excited to, to get back home. We'll get two days of practice in before we go down there um, or go up there. Uh, but yeah, definitely excited to go back home. Um, and, and those two days of practice will be really important for us. That was a lovely slide. You play baseball? I mean, does it look like you're a natural? I did play baseball, but I probably count on one hand how many times I slid in baseball, too, or feet first, anyway. Uh, but I appreciate that, though. I appreciate it. That's, that was my highlight. Cool. Appreciate you guys. It was a great day. <laughs> Up to this point, what's, what, what is, what's the big thing that you've been working on and that's been a challenge for you? Um, I've just been getting used to just recognizing the plays and recognizing uh, what's, coming, like what's coming at me uh, and the speed and the different routes. Uh, the routes is more complex, uh, what they do at the top of the route. How they run they routes uh, is very is more deceptive for sure, and I've just been getting ready and getting used to that every day, and just trying to get better at that. Which one of tonight of your two picks is your favorite one? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Both of them. I can't even really decide which one was better. The the, uh, the one to Rogers, it looked like. I mean, you knew what that route was from the beginning. Can you take us through that? That's like that's like a. Uh, a route that like I cover probably every day in practice, and that was just like that play was just like doing another practice play, uh, just getting better at that play, and then it was just game time, and I took advantage of it. And then the one on the sideline. At what point do you say I'm not just gonna make the tackle? I'm gonna try to take the ball away. Yeah, our coach, our coaches, uh, de defensive coaches, they they for sure preach fighting, fighting for the ball, fighting to the end. Fight until the ref make a call, and I just fought for the ball. I just, just took coaching to the game and just fought for it, and then I ended up taking it. Were you surprised when you got up and you saw that they initially ruled it a completion? No, I most definitely knew I snatched it out his hand. Uh, I just didn't know if he was down or not before I, they, uh, before it came out. Ooh, it seems like the nickelback position is pretty kind of up for grabs. Is that is that your main aim this training camp? So when that when that that start job? Uh, I mean, I play, I play all around in the in the back end. So if they could put me at corner or put me at nickel, you know, I can play it. Uh, it's really on on them and their decision on where they want to put me. Coach oh, Shanahan told us this week that he and his brothers he wouldn't even have any preseason games. But the one thing he does like to see is how guys respond when the lights go on. Do they raise their play? Did you feel you did that today? I most definitely. I feel like I had a great game tonight. Uh, it's still, I still have stuff that I have to learn from and get better at, but I feel like I was taking advantage of my opportunities. What was your day like today, leading to your first NFL game? Excited, nervous? Just... Uh, it, it was really relaxing. Uh, I like to just relax and just lay down and just listen to music. And uh, the music is just like how I meditate and relax. Uh, I listened to a lot of music today and also just watched some TV. Had some good meals and was just had meetings before and to prepare and I also watch extra film right before the game just to see what plays might come. Particular music? Uh, my favorite artist is Future, so it was a lot of Future today. <laughs> when I heard like you kind of came on the Forty Nineers radar late in the draft process, at what point once you got here did you realize that you know that you belong that that you can make an impact? Uh, the day I got drafted. Um, I, it didn't matter what team I was going to end up. Uh, this is me. This is who I am. I'm a, I grind. Uh, I'm humble. I take it every day, day by day, and I just work for what I get. So I, it didn't matter what team it was going. I was going to end up on. I was going to take advantage of my opportunity whenever they came. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing great. You got that play call. For one, uh, I had a feeling that Trey was going to throw it down down the field to me. So uh, it was really just beating my defender. That's what it was. When I, when I saw the safety roll down on top of me, oh, yeah, I knew what it was. Pre-snap, you could see the coverage and you had a good idea it was coming to you? Sir. And when you get that kind of coverage, is there a guy who can cover you? 
No, sir. Not at all. Uh, with my speed and what I know what I can do with my confidence, I feel like nobody could touch me. My confidence has been great. It's been going up every day. Uh, I just keep stacking, keep working hard, keep looking at my mental errors and just fixing it. So every day I come into work and I just look at what I can better better myself at. So that's what I do every day. Has Kyle been hard on you? Most definitely, as he should. What, what's his main teaching point to you? Yes, it's the details, urgency out the huddle, and J-O-B jump off the ball. So uh, that's what we preach every day, and we, we it's, it's mandatory. How important is it for you to have those details be, a, you know, have the, the route running and all the nuances of the game along with the speed that you bring to the table? It's important for me because uh, I'm a rookie, first of all, and uh, just me being in this league is a blessing. So I try to do everything correct. I try to come out and I try to give 110% on every play. So uh, the details, it comes. But you know, in the middle of a play, you try to, you know, you just want to win your rep. That's it. Be open, not put nothing bad on film. So uh, I just try to, I try to be very detailed, and I also just try to win. That's it. Kyle told us this week that uh, if he had his druthers, he wouldn't even have preseason games. And you know, they do more scrimmages like they're going to do with the Vikings. But he said what he does like to see is how guys react when the lights go on, whether they raise their level. Like, did you feel that you did that tonight? And did you have a good feeling today that something like this could happen? Yes, sir, most definitely. Uh, I go into every game and just be me. Just go be DG, that's me. So uh, every game I have confidence in myself that I'm going to win. That's it. Like, I, I'm i just a person like who love the game. I love the game of football. I've been playing this game my whole life. And every every chance, every opportunity that I get, I take advantage of it teammates after you scored <laughs> well they they knew I was fast so uh everyone just came up to me and they were just talking about man you were blazing you was fast like you we you burnt them so uh I just got a lot of love from my teammates how do you feel about your interaction your chemistry with Trey Lance at this point it's very good very good uh me and Trey uh we get to work in after practice we throw the deep balls we throw the ones we miss so uh I feel like everything's c coming together and we're gonna be very special it seems like maybe practices, I haven't seen a whole lot of hookups between you and him. It seems to be your deep balls have been more with Nate. But how much is that, that time on your own after practice paying off? It's paying off a lot. Uh, every ball matters, whether it's once, once, twice, three times. So uh, everyone, every rep matters. So uh, I feel that me and Trey, we're we, we going to grow and we're going to be very special together. Has there ever been a time where he's underthrown you and you have to kind of remind him that you got to put it out there a little further? Uh, not that I know of right now. Uh, not that I can think of, but I do know that it better be out there. <laughs> Danny, he said he ran down to make sure you didn't like throw the ball in the stands, or you know, you want to make sure you had your first touchdown ball. Did he like actually say that to you? Like, he didn't say that to me, but. Oh, I, I wanted to throw it in the stands, but I, was <laughs> but I was just like, man, we're gonna be humble and we're gonna, cause there's many more to come. So uh, I was just being humble and just thanking God for the moment. Any more for Danny? Thank you.